Is that part of the whole Khaled thing? Like you felt like at the time when that conversation happened? Bro, that Khaled was- thing was like, it was fun. It was just watching a man die inside because the under the under, the, the guy that, you know, the weirdo was winning. I was moonwalking in a wig. This nigga had everyone on his album. Everyone. And it's like, oh, no. <laughs> this but- bridge gonna work. <laughs> so for some guy like that to kind of indirectly be like, that ain't real rap. That ain't real black music. That's what it felt like. And I was like, my nigga, don't do, but I didn't say nothing. I just let that number one speak. Nigga Ego had to deal with that because his whole identity is being number one. And when he didn't get that, that sat with him longer in real lifetime than that moment. I moved on. I went and did some shows. We went to London. Cool. Didn't think about it. That sat with him because his whole identity is we the best. We the number one. When the underdog to him took that away from him, nigga Ego was deflated. He'll probably never admit it. 